Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, in uh, previous video, we talked about the manual scaling of the cluster. Uh, nodes we are talking about because for parts we have already seen it. But in today's video, we are going to see the auto scaling uh, of Kubernetes cluster, auto scaling of nodes we'll do with the help of command line enabling the auto scaler. Uh, we'll also see a couple of relevant things which are uh, absolutely important. So let's get started. Let me share my screen. I had for the previous one, uh, you see I have, we, we have increased the node to cater all the parts that we have increased the replicas for. Uh, and right now I do not have any pods running, kubectl get parts because we did everything uh, except the node. And there is a reason behind it because there is something that is uh you can call it a bug or something that we'll see uh in in a uh, few minutes later <laughs> uh okay so this is the scale set and this is our kubernetes and we have two nodes running on it now this time because previously in previous video let me rejog your memory uh it, if I clicked on the number, it gave us this portal plane where we have the auto scaling option. We can auto scale from here as well. So, uh, <clears throat> select the node minimum and maximum, right? Uh, even this setting can be changed. Anyways, uh, let's go to the shell because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do everything through the shell to understand it better, okay? So right now, very first thing we're gonna do, we will simply, kubectl apply hyphen app yaml so this will create uh enormous uh, pods some 30 pods and if these two nodes are capable enough then it is fine if not we'll increase the number of the pods but the point is but the point is we are learning how to enable auto scaling on the Kubernetes cluster for the nodes, right? Let me quickly show you the ports and then we'll go ahead, get port. Hopefully you'll find few uh, pending, get ports. I still have uh, these two pending, I think, uh, nothing more. So what we do, let me quickly increase the count to maybe, 25, right? And then see why I'm doing this because I want to check the auto scaling whether it works or not, right? And that's what you want, right? Okay, cool. Uh, let me clear it up. <clears throat> now, if I do kubectl get port, uh, we still have two ports pending. There are multiple pending ports that we can see, like zeros, right? You can filter that out as well, but right now we are not learning the bash or command line. We are just focusing on enabling the autoscaler. So what we need to do for that, a couple of things I wanted to show you. That's why I chose command line, AZ, AKS. Uh, what we are going to do, we, we have the cluster already, so we are going to update it. We are updated with what? We are updated with the auto scaling settings. So we need to first tell where, which resource group are we going to talk about? So we have demo RG. Then we'll talk. It will say, "What is the name of your AKS cluster?" And we'll say Cube Zero One. Now it will say, "What do you want to do?" I would like, we want to enable, enable what? Enable cluster auto scalar. That's what we want to enable. As the name says, it is going to do uh, auto scaling. But now if the auto scaler is enabled, the things that he wants to know is what is the minimum count, right? Let's say one. Here is the reason I did not remove uh, the second node, because if I say minimum count one, and let's say maximum count 
let's suppose three. Now you'll see, I, I just hit enter, it will take a few minutes and it will enable the auto scaling. Uh, it's, it's running, it started. Now, <clears throat> what I was trying to say will, sh will show you, I think that that part can be practically done in the lab uh, at the end stage. So let me tell you what it was while it is creating. Well, let's suppose uh, we have two nodes running, right? And now you have selected minimum count as one. And let's suppose there is no enough uh, uh, load. Now it will take some time to get back to minimum count one because there is some kind of uh, scale uh, scan interval setting that we did not define here. The first part. The second part is uh, the cluster autoscaler makes scaling decision uh, based on minimum and maximum count set on each node pool, just like any other cluster. But it does not enforce them after updating the minimum or maximum count. What do I mean by that? Well, it means simply, let's suppose uh, we're setting a count of five minimum node as a count of five when the current node count is three right uh, this will not immediately scale the pool up to five because we set the minimum five get my point let's suppose there are three nodes are running sorry uh, yeah three nodes are running and we set the minimum as five so ideally what was happening when we were doing this with the pods with the hpa it will quickly increase the minimum. It will match the minimum and existing, right? But here it will not do this. If the minimum count on the node pool has a value higher than the current number of nodes, the new minimum or max settings will be respected when there are enough unscheduled pods present that would require two new additional nodes. So this will respect pods more as per the minimum and maximum rule that we are applying on the autoscaler if you know what i mean if pod want if pod need then it will increase or decrease not because if the minimum count is five but the three are running it will not increase it to the five i don't know whether it's a bug or whether they have made it unknowingly but it is there so let's wait a few more minutes and we'll quickly uh, see. Let's suppose we have said this, how when we can update, let's suppose we realize three is uh, not good enough. Let's make it five. So we'll learn that in the next command. We're just waiting for it. Then let's, uh, let's wait a few more minutes. I would not like to fill you up right now because you would not be able to relate then or it's 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 uh, the way I explain. I'll again explain it. Then it would be duplicate or repetitive. So let's wait. All right, it's there. It's there. Let's quickly check kubectl. I'm sorry, what I'm typing. Kubectl get nodes. You see, we have three nodes. Why we have three nodes? Because remember, we ran the uh, pods earlier the manifest file earlier and a lot of pods were pending. That's why it started uh, quickly, right? If we would not have enough or pods would not be demanding nodes, then it would not scale in to a single node, right? So kubectl get pods. Now you see all the pods are running which were pending before, right? If I go above, if I have not cleared it out, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you got the point, like everything is running now. Now see, the very first thing I just wanted to show you, let's suppose three is not enough, right? If we again increase the, uh, pod replicas or run another one, three is not enough. Then what are we gonna do? We need to update it again. What do we need to update this time? This time we need to update because we have already enabled it, right? So let's make it five. And instead of enable this time, we are updating it and update it. Update cluster, right? 
Now it's updating the cluster. Again, it will take some time and it, we would have the five uh, as the maximum count. So that's the first thing. Uh, sorry, that's the second thing. And the third thing which I wanna show you, I'll, I'll do a little practical by removing all the ports. So before that, let me come here. Let me refresh it. On the portal, just wanted to show you. You can see this two become three, it's three now. And if you go here, uh, it's auto scale. You see that? And now it's updating because we made it five. It started showing five here though. So it is, it is good now, but it's running. So let's wait for a few more minutes. Uh, there we go. So we have uh, the output. So let me see. Get notes. Hopefully, we would have uh, three notes, and our auto scaling would have uh, five in total. But right now, pod doesn't need it. That's why we have three running. Okay, so that's how we we uh, update uh, the auto scaler as well. Let me clear this and let me show you something interesting. Let's see. Uh, Cube CTL delete. Cube CTL. See. All right, I have deleted all the ports. Now it should go to the minimum, right? And what is the minimum count? Minimum count is one. Yeah. That's how it, it, it works out of scaling, right? <clears throat> so what I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the nodes on watch and you'll see before I put it, I'll show you there is no more ports running. <laughs> Okay, so in that situation, what we need to do, we need to we need to update the profile. We need to update the autoscaler profile. Uh, that I think I did explain a little bit in the previous video, but this is something. Uh, it's like uh, you know, if you remember the load balancing, there are health probes. Uh, so this is something. This is the scanning interval. It will go and see, do, do we need that many nodes? Do we need that many, uh, uh, one more node? Uh, is there any parts which are not uh, running because of lack of uh, uh, compute? So let me show you that port. There is uh, no parts running here. And uh, kubectl get nodes, if I put it on the watch, we still have three, right? And uh, <clears throat> when we're doing this for the ports, if you remember, it was instantaneously, right? Increasing and decreasing. Uh, so what we're gonna do, why it is happening? Because I told you scan uh, auto scalar profile, uh, there is a scan interval. By default, it's 20 minutes or 10 minutes, something like that, but we do not want we don't want to wait for like 10 or 20 minutes, right? So what we're going to do, we'll quickly make it uh, to 30 seconds and I'll show you how we do that, right? So let me control C from here and somebody's calling me. Uh, let me put it on plain mode. I want to complete this first, okay? All right, there we go. So uh, let me clear this out. And now we are going to uh, update the scan uh, profile. As I said, update. So let me quickly go ahead and AZ, AKS, update. It, it doesn't take the somehow, sometimes intelligence works, sometimes doesn't, it's crazy. Uh, but I'm I always happy when it works, right? So th there's something else I also wanted to show you, but let me do this first. Demo RG and it was cube zero one, right? Now, what we need to do, we need to go to cluster, auto scalar, Profile. This is what defines how long it will take to scan. Let me do interval. Let let's make ten seconds for us. That's good enough for the testing, right? 
let it update it. And also because we are not specifying the node pool, right? From, from all the commands that we have run, we are either updating or updating the entire cluster. It's just because we have a single node pool. If we have multiple node pools, then instead of doing AZ, AZ AKS update, we need to do AZ AKS node pool update and specify the name of the node pool if we have multiple node pools. So we only have one for the lab purpose and that is good enough for us. So just wanted to inform you if there is a node pool or you can even do in, in this as well, because right now it's single, so it's picking up the single, but you can still run AZ AKS node pool. Uh, all right, fine, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Uh, we'll run that command as well, uh, just to minimize or change the auto scaling, auto, scale, auto scaler count minimum or maximum. Uh, let's wait while it is updating the profile. And then we'll quickly check how quickly node counts uh, gets back to minimum because there is no ports are running here, right? All right. All right, there we go. Let me quickly do kubectl get nodes. We have three, right? Let's put it on the watch. And now, see, these are still three because it's waiting for the default policy that goes like 20 minutes, I think. Uh, now we have changed it to 30 sec uh, 10 seconds. So uh, as soon as this, this refreshes, we'll start uh, the instances deallocating or decreasing, right? While we put it on the watch, let me quickly back come here and see, refresh it. I, because I didn't see, uh, if I go there, I did not see that uh, setting of uh, profile here on the portal. That's why I was saying there are a lot of things that we can only do through uh, command line, right? Policies. Okay, uh, let's go there and see. Oh no, yeah, still three. Did we say minimum three? I don't think so. We did minimum three. Uh, okay. If there is an issue, then of course we are going to learn something new out of the book for sure. Uh, it's one, but it might take a little longer because we need to debug it, right? And uh, three are running. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, it's started. Okay, there is only one left, I think. Now, zero, one, two, one, two is there, zero has gone. Now two will, two will, or uh, one will, one of these will be removed. If you go back, like if I control C it and show you cube, cube CDL get. Oh, well, you see out of three, the two are left. Uh, sorry, two are left, one has gone, another one is not ready. So it will be removed soon. So that's how you can change the uh, scan interval, but it doesn't mean uh, if you made it 10 seconds, it will remove the node in 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, it will get to know uh, this is not required and it will take a few more minutes, uh, but it is much faster than the default 10 or 20 minutes. Let me refresh on the portal as well, and it should it has one now. All right. so. Uh, uh, thank you uh, for watching and uh, just wanted to uh, inform you in this video, let's, let me summarize what we did. We, we increased the number of replicas for the pod so that we can enable the auto scaling and check it. So we did enable the auto scaling. We learn about the scan mm -hmm. interval. We learn about if you need to update the auto scaler, how can you do it? So, well, thank you for watching and uh, Let's meet in another video. Till then, stay healthy, take care, bye-bye.